with the people like you you understand my point this is not something you can even comprehend how many hours people work day and night to make three four thousand bombs connected here now i give you another puzzle go back next file so this is the way it looks then eventually you see there's a pin coming out you see pin you don't see the pin you see the pin coming out because the picture is there's a pin right here so that pin goes in a socket like your breed board you remember the breed board you put a little hole so there is a socket hole and this will go into that hole does it sound easy Oh, you could easy because you could align them and put it in these are very small 25 mil pitch 25 mil is about 25 times maybe times 25 625 micron pitch yeah you could do it i can see it vision it you align them with some aligner and put it in let me give you a question you'll now freak out totally all of you will freak out have you taken a pin pin you put it inside a paper have you seen that in a bank they do it always put a pin in the paper yes, yes. you think how much force you put it in there to do one 20 gram 30 gram force think 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 you put you push it push it right you push it right so you put a pressure how much weight you putting it down to do that at least 40 gram 40 gram is nothing you, you push take your finger today do you take your weight in a home? So stand on it and then press with your finger. Like as if you're pin, you will find 40 gram, 50 gram, if there is a resolution. Okay? That's all you do. That's this CPU has 2000 pin. Now, if you have a spring loaded, spring, so you guys are connected, right? All the pin has to connect. So that's spring. You press it in. 50 gram, 3000, 2000 pm is how much? 100 kg. You have to put a 100 kg force to shove it in so pins can all get connected. Did you realize what I said? One pin you put 40 gram. So that is a 2010 pins. So you put it in, there's a little bit of spring loader. You put it in, you press it. How much weight you need? 100 kg. So if you have a 2 kg, how many what you are? 20 kg? You five up, yeah, he's like a 20 kg guy. I'm a pretty, oh, only one guy like me is enough. 100 kg. You understand my point? <laughs> one guy like me is okay, but for you, and you will be 10 of them. So, so it is not also easy, another innovation. People developed a socket called zip socket. Zero, forgot the name, let's go through another fall. I can't remember anything anymore. Next fall, please. Zip sockets. Zero insertion four socket. Zip, zero, IF, ZF, zero insertion four socket. Go to the next fall, please. See, this socket people did, it's very interesting. The socket has a hole, but they, there's a little plate here, it moves back and forth. So you put the package, drop it in the hole, right? Then you take the lever, and you pull the lever, so this plate will get connected there. You see how nicely they did it? They made a hole only, nothing else. And there's a metal plate here. There's a, there's a hole, there's a little metal, and there's a plate which moves back and forth depending on this lever, right? Once you put the part, it goes to the hole, then you move the lever, shh, connects. Zero force, you don't need to sit on. That also discovered, they're expensive socket because it's not easy to build them. Intel doesn't build them. You can find who builds it, people have to buy from somewhere else. So that's also another innovation to solve that problem because you always go to the diode with a two nice pin, you complain, sir, it's not connecting right. <laughs> it is giving me a headache. People are connecting 3,000 connections in a one swap like a zip socket. And it's all started from the breed board where you started. Where you're starting today in a first year student. There's nothing else. 
But you have to think. The guy thought about it very nice. I'm pretty sure there's a millions of patent on that. Next fall, please. So in general, those are the little 150 micron, your hair half or hair diameter. Then there comes out in a solder balls. There's another solder, these are a little bigger. And they normally go to surface mount in a PCB board. Sometimes you can see they're all directly connected. And those, you cannot take it off. One more thing, to connect these two here, this is plastic, right? Organic, this is silicon. When the solder melts, it is done at 300 degree temperature. What temperature? 300 degree? And once you bring it to the room temperature, this shrinks more than that. This is plastic. It should crack, right? Not a single bomb's crack. How that solve the problem? You take an iron, copper, and a brass, put together, melt it, very nice, take it out, bends. Right? How this doesn't happen? Silicon will crack immediately. It's like a glass. It doesn't happen. They solve that problem too. None of the single 3,000 bombs, God knows how many times, how many bombs, will ever crack. Zero. So you understand the technology? Do you realize? IBM built the technology. But the next question is, okay, IBM built good. But they should all crack. Because there is a mismatch. There's a mechanical problem. This is plastic. You heated it up, plastic expanded more. Silicon expanded less. Then it got soldered. You take it out, the damn thing bends, silicon cracks. Easy. But not a single one cracks. That also solved. I don't need to tell you that. But that's what I teach once in a while in advanced packaging class, no student comes, majority of the time. Go ahead, next one please. So how it is whole thing worked out, there is a motherboard, there's this frame, the CPU gets connected here, then this is, the, this is where the power supply designs are. Goes on the top of it, and then this is the, this one, goes connected to the back, which is a metal, to take the heat out, and that's a sink, and this is a VR con, these two are separately done. So this sink, when you, when you, there is a little hole, you know, like that, and you push it in, and all connected to this CPU. So heat will go out. But you cannot take something, if I have a CPU with a high temperature, if I put a metal here, it is going to make a contact. How many places it makes a contact? Only three places. This surface, surface is rough in a microscope, right? So you can only make a contact in the three spike. So heat will not go out, thing will burn. That's another problem. That's also solved by the people. Who solved it? DuPont. That has nothing to do with Intel. You all got my point? In this place, if you put a metal on the top, how many places it makes a contact? Three point. Because there is a rough surface, it's not smooth. You can never have a smooth surface. So they solved it by designing a glue, thermal grease, called TM. Thermal grease, where when you put it in, you see those, when a CPU fails because of heat, there's a white stuff. Have you seen those? White? That's thermal grease designed by the DuPont. It's a very good conductor paste, like a copper. That took billions of people to design that, solve that problem. You think it's all easy? Every component is different company, different body, different human being. They all work to make this happen. Next one, please. So this is eventually the package looks like. Power supply connects here, the previous picture. This is where the metal, where the fin get connected at the end. They put a glue here, that DuPont glue. Push it in, air flows, it cools down. And the power supply get connected here, right here. On the top, with the VRM, the one you work on every day. What are you been doing some simulation too? So this is it. So this is a four-sided power connector people design, but they changes every year, you know, because all new innovation comes, right? 
Don't quote me that it is existing today. Maybe it's a different thing. But conceptually, these are problems. Next one, please. Final product. This is the thermal grease. That can pump almost 200 watt at 1.5 that level of year. Finally, people design that. This is all. This is like a like a nuclear power plant right here, built in a small little place. This is about an inch. This whole thing. No, this is this is a motherboard. This whole thing is about an inch. This one. One inch, maybe 1.2 inch, and this may be extended a little bit. So maybe this is two inch total. Everything is done to deliver a power in two inch with the billions of connection, which I showed you how they did it. And that is what called real entrepreneurship. Even though people did not got any money except their salary, it is not. Nobody, the, the US is a country, I spent there 40 years, people work. What you hear is all garbage, that for you to donate money to them, they're very clever. Any bad thing you see, 3x movie, 4x movie, that for you to spend money, not for them. The real worker is working day and night in those labs, in Watson laboratory. That's why there are so many Nobel laureates, so many awards, so many discoveries. No bad thing they do. Maybe politics, other things, those are different issues. But technology, people do, like me. We work. So, so this is your final CPU, which can handle 100 watt or 1.6 pico Henry, will deliver the, bring the power right into it. Next one, please. So now you know the rest of the story. That's the end of my file. Have you seen a show called Believe It or Not? Anybody? Huh? Do you see it? Yeah. So in that, at the end of the show, they always say, now you know the rest of the story. I forgot the name of the guy. What's the name of the guy? It's an amazing show though. You know, like all the real, real, real stuff. You know, it's amazing. You could learn something from those. So I said, I, I was, you know, enjoying my life also. It is not, this is all I'm doing all the time. I mean, if I did all the time like that, I'll be stupid. I'm not able to speak anything. So I'm going to see something else also, right? So, so now you can take your time, enjoy the rest of the day, and start thinking of it, what I said from tomorrow, not today. Today, just go home and enjoy your time. <laughs> so you guys have any question for me, or upset at me, either or. I think you need to learn. I think only objective of giving this presentation is not to talk big, to see how people work in their life to make things happen. And to give you a little perspective, power. I mean, you can you comprehend you're sitting with a lab, a power which is the same power density as sun? Have you thought about it? And it works. You sit with your mother, father, showing him the picture happily. That is what the technologies are. Two equation I showed you. This is all you need. You don't need anything else. You don't need anything else. And the people who is writing even in a Google or anywhere else all this best logic, they are also depending on those equations like that only one and two. They are not doing anything different. There is nothing going to a school for four years and then at the end of the day when you get out you found you have not learned anything because you forgot your transistor model you forgot there is a mismatch you forgot you know there's a thing called matrix manipulation you don't know anything at the end of the day but I think at least today even if you didn't learn nothing but you learn there is a problem to think first before you solve and that's the most fundamental. You're not solving by writing a computer program doesn't solve anything. It can only solve only when you have the logic fixed. And these are all done by hand. You think computer program can fix the picture I draw? 
that picture was drawn initially by hand not by computer no computer you can ever build to do that picture of MMPKP that I developed no computer even today now they can do it because it's already in the program but it has to be first done by hand and see how neat detail I did it you see cut out a cross section I had a one mechanical engineer worked with me, an ID graduate. He also did work with me. Very, very smart individual. I wish I could bring him here one day. But the problem is like this. Look, why should I bring somebody here? Look at your audience. Look at it. Just look at it. Do you think there's a 4,000 student in this? Do you think it's a bad presentation? Do you think it is worthwhile? Yes, sir. You will never hear this presentation anywhere in the life, including in Intel. You can go job anywhere else. Nobody will tell you what I showed you today. I can only show you because I left Intel 30 years back. Or I don't know how many years. 20 years back or 15 years back. I can do it. Most of the people will be scared to do it. I have no fear in life. I did not violate anything. I only took the thing which I worked on it. And it's all documented in a patent publications. You understand? But I, but there are a lot of things I didn't talk. Because I don't know how DuPont made a thermal grease or any other company, I don't know. They, they did it, material research. Why, what kind of epoxy that you inject? When I say it is a plastic, you put a C4, the bump, 3000 is all connected happily. That process is a developed process done by IBM. Intel does it every day now. They bought it from them. They spend money. But then why it doesn't crack? Who discovered that problem? Who has the patent? I don't know. So there are many, many questions, many problems. It is not as simple as it sounds. And wish you understand and do best in your life. If you have no question, then I can go sit over there and thank you all to come and listen to my lecture. Thank you. Shut it off.